truckers, drivers, and adventurers. I am the killer awesome trucker, and we are here where we left off, getting shaked around and banged around <laughs> at the Costco in Henderson, or at least one of the Costcos. Happens to be on Marks Street. So, what do we have going on? Well, we have a deadhead reposition. We're getting uh, sent over to California to be set up for another load that's going to be taking us out east. Uh, and it's a pretty good one. Uh, but this episode is just us getting repositioned because it's a mission on its own. <clears throat> uh, it's something that I'll, you know, I'll get paid for. So once we get uh, everything unloaded here, uh, we're going to be uh, heading over to California. So <clears throat> uh, it's it's in the evening. It's nine thirty-five. Um, haven't really had uh, any sleep or anything. Uh, I, I I took naps here and there during the daytime, but. I don't want to drive all throughout the night because then it's going to completely mess up my sleeping schedule. Um, and as a driver, you don't really want that, right? I mean, you want to be safe. You know, if you're a day driver, stick to day driving. If you're a night driver, stick to night driving. Don't go back and forth, back and forth because that's where you start falling asleep. <laughs> so you don't want to do that. Um, and you don't want to inject yourself with caffeine the whole time. That's not healthy either. Neither is, you know, getting banged around. But <clears throat> what we're going to uh, do, um, hopefully, uh, the Terribles uh, parking lot. It's like Gold Strike Truck Plaza or something like that. Um, hopefully, there's still plenty of parking there. So that's where we were yesterday when we had a... Wait, wait it out for uh, the load here. So, <clears throat> uh, after we get uh, done here, um, I will go ahead and put in my empty call and uh, also the macro one stating that well, I'm leaving the location. So, I don't know if they'll automatically dispatch us on this thing or not, but <laughs> paper trail, you know. Well, guess what? There's parking spots here at the uh, Gold Strike uh, Truck Plaza or, you know, I don't know, just spots to park <laughs> right across from the Terribles Truck Plaza, which has like three restrooms and that's it. That's it. Um, and, and they're more like bathrooms. Uh, they just don't have a, a bath, but yeah, it's an actual door. Um, and it's got a, you know, a, its own little toilet and sink and, and, and stuff, but there's only three of them and that's it. So now that was one of the things I read on, on the reviews of the place was that, you know, there's hardly any facilities there, which is kind of a good thing for those of you who are looking for a place to park because, a lot, a lot of drivers out there are going to want to park where there's facilities. So, if you plan your your drives and you know your um, need to do stuff, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, then it's a benefit for you because you know these places where there's no facilities or very little. They're not going to have that many um, truck drivers at them, so it's a benefit for you. I know I'm going to use it to my advantage. Um, you folks remember, um, if you've been with me for a while, if you remember the situation that happened on the I-70 where I you know, burnt up the brakes and stuff like that because I wasn't ready for mountain driving. And yes, I knew, I, I know about the, um, for those of you who haven't watched it, um, yes, I do know about the engine brake and everything, and I use that. 
at the time it had snowed there was snow on the side it was wet on the side and i wasn't sure if using the engine brake would um would cause it to jackknife or not but i understand it a lot more now i know the proper way to use it um, but that's neither here or there the reason why i'm pulling uh bringing it up is that the load that we had which was extremely heavy um i wasn't comfortable taking it the rest of the way because of what happened with the brakes so we had it repowered remember that well i just got a message saying hey can you help us out with this load we need a repower done on it and that was after i had already did my post trip put myself in sleeper <laughs> can you help us out with that no <laughs> Oh, they just sent a message. Disregard. Thank you. <laughs> already, already, uh, already disregarded. it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I need to sleep sometime. But they're like, yeah, you can still keep your life. You can just help us out with this. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That's okay. You have fun with that. I'm going to go get sleep. Probably, folks can probably tell my eyes are like hardly open. They're like squinting or something. But anyway. So yeah, we got ourselves a spot. There's plenty of places. As a matter of fact, I got the same spot I did when I left. <laughs> got the same exact spot. So it's all good. It's all good and it's still good. And uh, I'm going to sleep. So <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow morning. So take a look at everything that I've got plugged into my generator here. Um, this is so I don't have to worry about, since I haven't uh, driven the truck most of the day, the batteries aren't going to be uh, fully charged um, as far as plugging stuff in. So I have the fridge plugged in here to the DC. Uh, and this is, I normally hook it up this way to the truck, so I got it hooked up here. And then, of course, my CPAP machine is plugged in here. I have the laptop here, plugged in here. And then my phone is being, is just going to be kept charged, plugged in here. And you can see in total, it's only 32 watts. Well, this will go up when I turn my machine on. But... Yeah, you're looking at about 29 hours. Here, let's just turn my machine on here for a moment. My mask. So that goes up to 74, 84, 80. So around, oh, there's 100. Somewhere around there. So it's, it's, it's it'll be good for 10 hours. Yeah, the thing about having sleep apnea, um, at least uh, for me, is that I really can't uh, get good sleep um, with without the without the mask. I mean, I can I can lay down and I can get you know some shut eye, you know, like some naps here and there. But as far as a full good night's sleep, I can't unless I have that machine. Um, it's just just something that I've, you know, had to live with. Um, but I'm thankful, you know, I'm thankful that um, I was diagnosed uh, with it. So now that I can actually, you know, and this was, this was many, many years ago. This wasn't anything recent, but I know I had always had trouble trying to sleep throughout the night. And, and that has just done wonders uh, for me. And, uh, so has this uh, generator <laughs> that I've got because uh, I don't have to worry about a stupid inverter beeping in the middle of the night. Everything, it, it has been so much better having having that or, or having the, um, the generator. Oh, yeah, I can actually sleep through the night. And even if I wake up a little bit, I can, you know, I can lay back down. 
so I don't have to like get up, start up the uh, the truck, and charge things up for a bit, and then you know. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with how how this turned out. All right, well, good night. Okay, well, good morning here. We are. <clears throat> <clears throat> having that morning voice type of thing you know this turned out to be a really great parking place um, there still is not that many here uh, no one parked next to me in prime there's still two spots here although there is a light post in between but you can still um, you can still kind of, well, maybe not necessarily pull through, but you could come up and, and back in, maybe. <laughs> not with this truck. <clears throat> but there's still parking spots over there. There's still a few parking spots over there. I mean, this is this is a good good spot. This is a good little hidey hole. And sh thanks to my uh, new driver leader for uh, giving this to me. <clears throat> but. Uh, Yep, just uh, finishing up the air brake test. We are going to uh, drive just a little bit, and we're going to stop at the rest stop on the I-15. I forget what it's called. Is it the Valley Wells? We've been to it a few times already, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stop over there. I'll have breakfast. <clears throat> and uh, get everything programmed and ready. Uh, I'm doing a split sleeper berth, uh, and when I did that, because <clears throat> I slept for just over seven hours, and I've been able to, because you can do a, a 7-3, and so there is still time on my 14 hour clock, like three hours, but take a look at this. I was able to bring it right up to 10 hours. Look at that. So I still got, I got nine hours I can drive today. Then I have to shut down for at least three. Uh, and then I can drive some more because uh, my 11 hours should uh, reset by that time. <clears throat> Once you do a 7-3 or 8-2 or whatever. But uh, yeah, so it's all good. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get going and I will meet you at the rest stop. We're here at the Valley Wells rest stop. For those of you who have been following me on this journey, you already know this place. <laughs> um, what? Man, every time I smile, it looks like I don't have any teeth. See, I got teeth. It's like my lip is sticking to my teeth eh? anyway <laughs> are you gonna see that on another trucking vlog no <laughs> oh my goodness all right so i'm stopping here for a breakfast break and use the facilities because it's a lot closer than uh what it was at terribles and there's actually more available whereas at terribles there was only three <laughs> so gonna do that and we're gonna get uh, get moving again. So we are here at our destination. Uh, things have changed along the way. So what do I mean that they've changed? Well, we were doing a deadhead reposition to Barstow, California, which is to get us set up for the next load, which I already had. But I was gonna go ahead and 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 go there, uh, maybe do the Mac one, two, four, five, six, whatever. And um, along the way, it got changed, uh, and we were dispatched on that deadhead to where our pickup is for the next load. That's where we are right now. We're at the destination slash origin, <laughs> destination for the deadhead uh, reposition, the origin for the next uh, load. And what it... Where where is it? Where are where are we right now? Well, why don't you get out and look? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't want to do that just yet. 
but take a look. So this place should look familiar. This is Ross out in Shafter, California. We've been here before. The last time we tea called it in Phoenix. This time we're taking it all the way east. It's going to be in Tennessee, Smyrna, Tennessee. It is over 2,000 miles. Yes, mm, 2,000 miles. <laughs> this, is the, this is the longest load I've had so far. So that's over 2,000 miles, not including the 300-some miles that I drove to get here. So, and we get paid for that. How awesome! Ah, how awesome is that? So, we're just in line. We've been in line uh, to check in. We get to drop this trailer off. And the trailer we're picking up is a new one. This one is a 2021. We're picking up a 2022. Woohoo! That's what I'm talking about. Ditch the old crap. Bring in the new. All right, we went ahead and dropped off uh, the trailer, which ironically is uh, right over there. And then we hooked up to the trailer that we're taking <laughs> right behind us. So they were like right next to each other. So that was kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, hooked up. Uh, and then we'll be going. <laughs> 